Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph Repressurize from Minecraft 115. So I would like to do some armor today and some armor upgrades and to start with I'd like to start with a smart chest and if we got time we'll look at the redstone module too. Let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to look at is the um, smart chest. This is this one here. I wish you could see I've already got some stuff in there. I've been mining. It's been actually quite a long time since I actually made the last video. So let's have a look at the recipe for this. And we can basically do two reinforced chests, one, two diamonds, one printed circuit board, one omnidirectional hopper. And that's it. It's quite straightforward, really. It's quite a neat thing. Um, oops, sorry. What we can do with it is we'll put it down and we'll put in some upgrades into it, first of all. It's just like a normal chest in a way. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put it beside this one here. So now we can click, right click this and we have different push-pull modes. So for example, if I want to push, that's the front, that should be the right hand side. So if I want to push items to the right hand side, let's just open this chest here. Let's take this 33 golds out of here and simply push, put it in there. And that should then push to the right hand side, which it is doing, as you can see. So while that's doing that, let's just change this. Unless instead of pushing to the right hand side, let's push to the let's try that again. Let's push to the left hand side. Okay, now obviously that makes no sense. But if we put in here the dispenser upgrade, it's going to start throwing things into the world or jettisoning, ejecting stuff out of the chest, which is quite neat, really. So that's one one thing you could do with this. You've also got things like um, status. I think we've got a filter mode on here redstone upgrades we can see the red upgrades already so we've done the dispenser upgrade the magnet upgrade let's do that one next in a way it doesn't make sense to have both upgrades but maybe it does so here you see this here for example and it says here we've got this button preview area click it you look around it's not doing anything <laughs> that really confused me i have to be honest with you i was expecting to see something but what you have to do is you have to um, have a pull side like this and then when you show the area it then starts to show the area as you can see so at the moment it's pulling basically nine blocks on the from the left hand side let's just set this up to do pull from um, let's pull it from the the back the top okay and maybe the bottom so let's do that again see it doesn't change the area until you actually update it like this so now it's pulling a reasonably decent range, isn't it? Let's go and put in an upgrade into this, because another upgrade we can put into this, as you can see here, is the, the magnet upgrade and the range upgrade. And it can take four range upgrades. So let's just put one in, like this. So it increases the range by one per one block, is what it says. So let's just turn this off and on again. And we should now get four blocks coming out here like this. Actually, I think that's done it by two. Um, so what we can then do, of course, is then just throw something something into this area like this. So let's just take this, put it down here, and then do Shift and Q, because I've changed my Q command, because I'm always pressing that while I'm walking. And that should get picked up, as you just saw, and put into this chest here like this, which is, which is what it's done. Fantastic. So then the maximum range, have a look at the maximum range of this one. Let's turn it on like this it's quite big as you can see it's a fairly good range with four with four upgrades so that would actually be a really good item collector um but you can also filter us from what i understand status all right of course we can have speed upgrades in here as well i think that should be listed on these magnet upgrades speed upgrades range upgrades yes the it'll increase the speed it pulls items into the chest Let's turn off the area. We don't need that on at the moment. So we could leave this like this and just um, see what happens if any mobs get ground. They should get their stuff picked up into here like this. So I'm actually using this at the moment because I've got a, a logistics drone that doesn't seem to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So what I've got here is I've put a chest in here and I'm pushing into this here. So this is always full of charcoal. So this um, advanced air compressor is always full of char charcoal and so therefore these are always at max pressure. Now what's that drone? Oh, okay. <laughs> there must have been a zombie pigman by the sounds of that. And he must be down there. 
I also changed all the lights here for, to, to lanterns because I think they probably may produce a bit less lag. I'm still a lot of lag here at the moment. It's not it's not up to 30 frames per second. It's just below. This one here is just not working. I don't get it. So here I've got a chest with stuff in it. Um, and here we've got a chest with that. Let's just take half of this out like this. So that should get populated with this from this drone. There's no reason for it not to. It's just... This is just a um, passive provider frame, and these are requester frames, so that should provide coal into here, or charcoal into here. And for some reason, and I don't ask me why, it doesn't work. And it should have worked because it used to work earlier in the game. So don't ask me what's going on there, because it's just sitting here, and it, I put it in this place is where you place it, and it's not done anything at all. So I'm. Uh, but unhappy about that to be honest with you because <laughs> it's a nuisance the drones have got to work if they're not working then there's no point in having them is there really right okay that wind's out of the way there's a, there's a zombie over there he should probably get attacked fairly quickly a little bit reasonable area so that the, the, we have a bit of time to, to deal with him it's waiting no not him you saw the light coming out there like that let's keep it there he is now, he's come back into place. So what I've been doing is also I've been um, trading quite a lot. Um, and you see I've got some micro-missiles here from the... And I've also got some programmer puzzle pieces. also got some drone, collector drones um, from emeralds. So the emeralds are doing really quite well. In fact, the easiest way to get emeralds is to use the Amazon Traveller. Oh yeah, so you can see this one got the... Um, <laughs> the zombie pigman. I don't know why I'm getting. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so he's probably using up a bit of air now. I guess he should have done. <laughs> so sorry, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, that aside, I want to get on with armor today, don't we? Oh, I did pick up one gold nugget. So let's get started with that. Basically, it's souped up leather armor, so I should have some in here. Oh, you may have noticed I got some little experience droplets from Mystical Agriculture. I've been very busy make, getting a few seeds. I got with the skeleton ski, seeds, so we've got. A few, actually, I've got a few heads in here when I was collecting them. I got five skulls, um, which means I can actually do that next time. We'll do that. I've also got twelve phantom membranes. I was attacked a lot when I was outside at night time. So anyway, so what I want to do is armor. Oh yeah, I was looking here because I know I've got pieces of, of things. So I've got some boots here like this. Uh, I don't think this chest plate will work, but we'll try it anyway. So, and that's it. I actually haven't had any helmets to actually do wrong place. So we need some uh, printed circuit boards. We need four of those. And I've also been trading uh, capacitors and um, transistors with villagers as well. That's pretty good. I was going to have a look at if they've got any good trades on at the moment because they change all the time so it's not a bad idea to have a look at what you can trade at the moment um, sometimes you get some really good things like this one clay is a great one I'll show you why generally clay is just water and uh, dirt so water seeds I haven't got very many because I've just done like this I haven't got very many at all actually so it happens. what I need to do is um, update my seat update this so let's just take a couple of these like that four I think will do and then we need some dirt four and then we could just make the, the clay walls up now if I look at the uses of these you can see you can make to make 24 clay so we've got 48 clay so they're a great they're actually a great one so let's put them over here and then come into this chest over here put them into that and then we can do that trade He's probably not going to get to me. So let's do this trade. Here like that. Just should right click it a couple of times. This is already two, four. So I can get four diamonds for this. Four emeralds for those tiny for bits and pieces. It's a great trade. I love it. So you get quite a good few. And with those emeralds then we can go and trade with the villagers. So it doesn't even matter how expensive they are. So next thing. Armour. So let's have a look, what do we need for armour? So we have the helmet. So we need a leather helmet and we need a lot of these air canisters. Ooh, 
you know, I haven't got any air, that many air canisters. I've got 16, 18. So I'll have to make a, a and I should have some leather in here. So, that's what, so I reckon that we need possibly minus four twenty pieces of this at the most. We'll see. So let's make up the chest. Let's make up a helmet. We've, we've got boots already. Helmet. Oops. Try again. Uh, leggings. And I think it does depend on this. So let's have a look at the use of the, this chest piece and see if it actually works. Indeed it does. So we can actually use a broken one, which is great. <laughs> so let's save me eight pieces of leather. Not that leather's particularly expensive these days because we've got plenty of that. Uses of this one, I'm missing two ingots of compressed iron. And I've got lots of ingots of compressed iron, as you can see, I've got 43 in here. So let's just take those out of that one. And do the uses of the helmet. They're all leather based, as I said before. And the uses of this one. Now I've run out of air canisters. So, what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to go and trade some emeralds with those two villagers. Ah, I've got a new recipe. Let's right click this and go to bed. And um, because it's probably very close to d dawn anyway, it is fairly close to dawn. So, let's go and grab a whole load of emeralds and go trundling off to the other side. Two stacks will do just nicely. And we'll go to the village and I'll see you when I get to the village. So here's one of the two. This village has got two um, mechanics. And I've opened up all these trades now, as you can see. So we want some more of these and this again this is and it's locked. Ah oh, great. But you can get other stuff from him. So I can get basically some of these. Let's stick some of those out of those, get him out of those. And we'll also take a drone, a standard drone. Hopefully that will unlock his other trades. He's not doing his trade locking and unlocking at the moment for some whatever reason because look, <laughs> he's the pitch capacitors and his air canisters. But he doesn't seem to unlock his trades, and I'm not sure why. So I have managed to get basically the bits we need for the next levels of stuff the drone and some programmer puzzle pieces. I've actually got quite a lot now, but he didn't open up his trade. Let's go and find the other ones if he's got some other bits. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to. Um, oh, Enderman's over there. I'm going to have to um, basically craft them up myself, which isn't actually too difficult. Right, I'll be back in a second when I found the other one. So he's always he's always by his house. This one. So what has he got to offer? He's got transistors, and he hasn't actually locked up his trades at the moment. And I think he's slightly cheaper for drones because he's almost thirty-eight. We'll take another drone anyway. So they don't do they stack. Yes, they do. Fantastic. But we don't have any um, from him. We can no, we don't have any. We have other bits and pieces, and he hasn't locked up his trades. So I'm going to go back now because I wanted to show you the visitors anywhere, <laughs> the villages, the, the villages anyway. Um, so I'll see when I get back to base. In fact, they're actually not very expensive anyway. These are the can air canisters. It's just two pieces of redstone, one pipe which is basically half um, an ingot so we've got four and a half ingots plus two pieces of redstone so let's just craft up a few of these I can make ten I probably, I'll take about three six we'll leave it at six so we've actually got eight this one these are already charged up I don't think it matters very much so let's have a look at the uses of these so we should be able to use these so we have eight so we should be able to just craft that straight in fantastic and the next one is the last one of these the boots so the use of those, grab those in. So it's complaining about these not being there. So let's see if we can actually set it up the recipe. If I'm not mistaken, the recipe is like this. Oh, I'm short of one air canister. Ha, huh. okay. Recipe, let's just do that again. Uh, and put those two together. So we have to do that one more time. Sorry about that. And I'm pretty sure you can use them fully charged anyway. Yes, you can look. And then this time you'll notice it's actually got pressure on it. So let's take off my armor now that I've already got in here. Actually, I did some enchanting when I was messing around. So we can put all this armor on like this. And we start to get a step assist. Oh, yes, because that's the only one with air pressure in it. Let's go and get ourselves charged up. 
Oh, it's night time. I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. So all I have to do now is stand on one of these things here. And it should start to charge all of the others up as well. Have I missed one? No, I haven't. Okay, look, just the chest bait's the last one to charge up. And then on the left hand side you can see the things which we haven't got. <laughs> something was out of air what was out of air I didn't see that one oh, yeah, see so these are slowly charging up as you can see now the chest plates the one that always takes longest so while we're doing that let's have a look at the these particular items the boots are nearly charged up and then we should be able to have a look at the uses of this one I'll press shift on it here like this okay it's not telling me what I need to upgrade those with I have to put those into one of these items here then we can see let's put those into here and then we can see what upgrades we can put on it well that's new thorncraft upgrade well we don't have thorncraft installed so dispenser upgrade so you can have four of these and this basically allows you to kick in the scissor around <laughs> actually it does work quite well in fact speed upgrade these speed up the armor initialization time how long it takes this one's going to do we're going to have to do some of this armor upgrades these are basically the ones which increase the armor levels so a small amount of armor protection um, for each piece two upgrades will bring the armor up to diamond level which we haven't got that far yet i've only been using iron armor until now and then we've got flippers so we can then sort of go underwater is it improve the swim speed okay make sure you go faster volume upgrades we'll probably do that in the chest place for any post or anywhere else life item upgrades allows the armor to repair its auto repair itself that's a pretty good one and then th this one is a viz discount okay so we don't care about that because we well, I thought thorncraft had been disappeared anyway in 150 so we've got jet boot upgrades tier one so we can then basically start to fly so that's those boots let's put in the leggings now and have a look at the different armor upgrades we've got this one so the dispenser upgrade allows what's it set up? sorry wrong place <laughs> i was going that didn't look right so we've got an armor upgrade speed upgrade um volume upgrades we've seen before jumping upgrade so we can then jump higher so it allows you to jump four tiers of this so that's a pretty good one and the status is okay so it's not using in the air that's all that's saying to us i can put that back on here in fact if i stand beside this it should automatically charge the armor up i think it's no let's get on it let's get on this one and stand on this one here like that so these are all charging up slowly i hope yep two point one bar let's look at the helmet and have a look what upgrades we've got for them a lot of upgrades as you can see so dispenser upgrade so it, when used with the in conjunction with the enter tracker the dispenser upgrade allows debugging and monitoring of drones we're going to be definitely using this one the, this is the enter tracker here so that allows you to watch different types of mobs watching you <laughs> it's perfect for creepers sneaking up on you well, i've suffered from that a few times again the speed upgrade coordinate tracker upgrade um probably less useful these days um So what's it tell us about this moment? It's a basic, it's path, it's basically pathfinding, isn't it? Um, so navigate you where you want, but with journey map it's sort of less useful. But in mines, I'm always getting lost anyway. So security upgrades, okay, very hack blocks. I probably don't need to do this. I'll have to do some research on it anyway scuba upgrade that one allows you to do some diving but you'll notice here there are definitely a lot more upgrades than we've got spaces for so you have to be a little bit careful um and with the chest plate this is probably the next one that's of most interest put that back on there and it can carry on charging when i do this something like this so look at the chest plate the volume upgrades are a really good one to have and of course armor this one here the charging upgrade this one basically allows you to charge other pieces of stuff 
um, in your inventory and also your other armor pieces from the chest plate so it's a good one to have in a lot of different um, a lot of volume upgrades how many does it take 25 volume upgrades okay that's a lot um, air conditioning we don't need that's to do with um, Oh, forgotten which mod it is it'll come back to me um it's, we haven't got it installed anyway this is a bit to do with it oh, what's it one i can't really can't remember at the moment it'll, but no, just my problem uh security upgrade again okay from fire and lava that's a great one to have by the looks of it so i'm going to make a few of these upgrades and we'll put those in and we'll be back in a second well just about ready as it happens I think I need to move some bits and pieces around, but on, on the on the display because I can see that the um, the armor is on the top left hand right hand side. I probably need to move it down a bit because it's in the way of journey map. So let's have a look. One of the upgrades I would like to do is this one. Now this requires a charging module, so for that we need four charging stations. So I should be able to make four charging stations because I've got some clay and bits and pieces. So I'll look at the use of those. We should be able to make this charging module and have a look at this one we should be able to make this up a charging upgrade and that allows it to um this is what it's a shift press shift so it basically pneumatic chest plate and an elevator base hmm i haven't got really a suitable base for elevators i tend not to build tall buildings but anyway so let's have a look what we can also do is you don't need to have a charging station that's actually connected to anything. All I've done here is to put an advanced um, pressure tube on it. Now the reason for that is these items in my inventory here, wherever I can see them here, they've got 10 bar. So if you put this into here now, for example, let's put the helmet in here. You see it's pushing some air out of there into here. But if I took that, unlocked that, it would let out all the air out of the helmet. Don't want to do that. So let's put in some upgrades. So the first one we're going to do is put in the armor upgrade in all of these. So it's basically four for each one. I just shift click that into place. Um, and the rest of these I haven't really made yet, but we do have a security upgrade. So I can press those into that. I thought it only allowed one. Oh no, security, okay. Oh, okay, that's to hack things. I don't want to do that in there anyway. Um, a range upgrade. Oh, that's for the entity tracker. We haven't we haven't done that one yet. We'll do that later on. And a volume upgrade. I'm not going to do the volume upgrades for this one. I'm going to put those into the chest plate. So that'll do for now. So if I now have a look at my I'll put that back on again. Let's have a look at the armor level. So now we're up to eight and a half. Yes, eight and a half um protection. So let's go put this one into here now and then do this as well so this one we can put in five upgrades volume upgrades that'll allow it to have more air we can also put in three six magnet upgrades and one of these i think just one of these when it splits up like that you know you, you can only do one so i can put in four of these like that um what else do we want to have in here dispenser upgrade allows you to oh launch using okay so you can launch items from your offhand. I've never done that, so I'm not quite sure how that handles. We'll do that next time, I think. Security, I've done that already. That protects you against lava. But it uses a lot of air. So this is why the volume upgrades here are really useful. And life item upgrades, I haven't made any of those, but we probably should do. But we, we don't need to do that just now. As you can see, this is pushing air into here. So put it back on again now. Leggings. Oh, obviously I'm going to do leggings as well. We'll put the leggings as um, life item jump upgrade. I haven't done this one because I think I need, yes, potions of leaping. Potions of leaping, I need some rabbit's foot. And I haven't got any yet. I've been walking past those. Oh, I did forget to put something in the chest plate, didn't I? So let's, let's, let's put the armor places into this one before I forget. So that splits it into two. Uh, it, it seems to be only do that when it's on the last one. Life item upgrade, that one. Jumping, we can't do that one. We've got the upgrading and volume upgrade. We'll leave that one. There's actually not very much. Just these two are useful. So we can then put this on here like this. Let's put the chest plate back into here and then put into the chest plate the 
charging upgrade. So the chests are reasonably well populated, so let's put that back on here. And then the boots. Again, we can put four of these in here, and I think that's basically it. I'd like to do these. Let's have a look, jump for the uh, tier five. Do can we do these? Yes, we can. Advanced care compressors. I'm not going to bother with that today. We'll do that next time. I'll go and collect some more materials. We've got enough vortex cannons. I think aren't too much of a problem, but <laughs> I've got one. Have a look at the recipe for this one. That's interesting. That's not working. Why not? Probably because I'm into that in that inventory mode. Let's have a look. recipe for that one. Oh, strange. Let's look at this recipe. It's not oh, of course, because it's got pressure in it. That's a bit strange as well. Let's have a look. Um, vortex upgrades was the jump boots which are this one here like this so we just need yet another <laughs> canister let's get one of those out um actually we need two don't we because we need two of these and we need a lever and some yellow dye um i've got all those i'll tell you what i'll make those and we'll be back in a second well i've got all the bits for this now so we should be able to make it up and in fact you'll find out because i've got one of these pressurized it doesn't match so let's just see what we can do so we need basically one of these in the middle we've made these before so i don't bother doing that again put those across there and then we can put these two like this and then in the corner we just put the matrix upgrades like that and then we sure enough we get our jet boots it of course uses the air that was in that one but it doesn't matter very much so we can then put those into our boots here like this and then we should have some at least some sort of flight like this scuba ones we'll look at later on and i think life acting upgrades we've done those already before those are fairly straightforward just clocks and apples and matrixes will make these so i'll do those in my own time but we'll do we'll do the definitely do the, the jet pack one at a time right so i think it's night time indeed it is <laughs> so we'll have a quick sleep and then i'll charge up the thing and then we'll go and start to do some stuff with it so i'll see you in a second i actually didn't need to wait that long yep probably be mobs out here so what's my armor level now so you can see my arm level is fully is full so I've, so, so i've got plenty of armor protection now now maybe we should go and test it but first of all i want to charge up what i've got in here now this will take a while to charge this one especially this one so the pressure is too bad in fact what will happen is i probably better take this one off and put it straight into the thing here and get off it because it's likely to discharge the stuff that i've got in here i've got 14 canisters yeah it's more than likely to discharge uh, charge up all of these and discharge the armor oh, we got it here 10 yeah that's fine because it balances out over time so that I'll be back in a second when this is fully charged again. Well, that took a long time. So, as you can see, now we charge it up. Uh, but first of all, before you can do anything with the arm, you've got to turn it on. And this is all done through controls. So let's go back here, options and controls, and let's look for pneumaticraft armor because this you need to set up. Um, da, da, da. Journey map or excavation pneumaticraft. Okay. So general options is. Uh, control and U is what I've set it up for. Right. It's also highlighted red, and I think that's fine. Um, chest plate launcher, helmet debugging. We won't do with those just yet. Night vision, magnet is control and dot. But that's it. Jump boost we haven't installed, but we need to do the general options first of all, which is control and U. It's coming up to night time, but we should be fine. That's the control and U. And then we can see these here. So we've got the different components. So, so we can move the pressure to that screen because that at the moment is over here. And I would like to move. To, I think it's grow. Yeah, you can just drag it with the left hand mouse button. I think down here probably is a good place as any, like that. Middle click, expand right. So you can actually stretch these ones as well. So you can middle click it and expand. 
no, I think that will do fine. I think these change over time. So this is for text messages. What else have we got in here? Mes pressure change, open menu key. So we've got these ones in here. So and we can enable the magnets like this. So that was control and a dot was the first one. So let's just do control and a dot. The magnet is enabled. Now unfortunately that does start to use up air. So I'm going to turn it off again. Because we don't I think it might use air word all the time or just when it picks up items. I'm not 100 percent sure. But let's have a look. So now what have we got on here? We've got jump boost. So <laughs> jump. I didn't look at the key for that one. I think we should be able to fly a little bit, at least for a short period of time. But also we've got this chest plate one. Um no, wrong chest, sorry. That's the arm, that's the weapon prepare stuff. This one here. I've got a collector drone. If I put this collector drone into my inventory, it should start to charge up. If I've got that installed in here, I have got it installed. So this should oh, maybe it's charging up this as well. Oh maybe you have to say even turn it on. Let's have a good look at those controls again. Options controls. Entity tracker dot general options kick night vision magnet jet boots. Okay, it doesn't show me on here. So let's look at the control U again. Oh, yeah, step assist is automatically on. You can have that one. Jump boots. I oh, see so you can enable jump boots. So it's actually keyboard control J to enable the jump boots. So you can do control J. So now jump boots are enabled, so we should be able to. Challenge completed, up and away. Okay, now you, when you want to fly, just point it in the direction you want to fly in. Now these boots are quite slow compared to what they will be when we get upgrade this. And at the moment we don't have any, and it actually shows you on here. Now does that tell me about the air? Yes, the boots are going down a bit. I'm pretty sure. Unless I've got, maybe I have to put the dispenser upgrade in here. As you can see, full damage is a thing of the past. <laughs> but I'm actually running out of time. Um, there was one more upgrade. It's this one, the dispenser upgrade. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look at that. Press shift on it. I think, yes, that can be used in the chest plate. Let's just put it in the chest plate. Because obviously this now the chest plate is still charged up. Let's look at this one. Um, I th Oops. Yes. Sorry about that. Little bit of a distraction. <laughs> Dealing with two zombies. Right, okay. Back to this again. So you can see this is charging up nicely again. Um, and it's also should be charging up the boots. But I'm a bit confused about something here. So this is actually charging up because I'm standing beside it. So what does it tell me about this upgrade here? Oh, you can charge, okay. Automatic charge other pressurable items in your inventory. Can it either be worn or carried? No, all the lowest pressure of the chest plate. Okay, fine. So it's going to charge up to the pressure of the chest plate. I'm not sure what, doesn't look like that was working a second ago, does it? How much pressure has this chest plate got in it? 10, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's in here and it's actually charging up the drone here like this and it's also charged up these 15 air canisters now it's taking the air out of it again don't want it to do that <laughs> oh, so you've got little damage bars on there you can see the little green ones so life item upgrade will get rid of those over a period of time at the price of air of course right fantastic there is one thing I did as well between episodes and that was to upgrade the uh, minigun. Oh, I better turn these off now, hadn't I? Control J turns them off. And the minigun, I upgraded to basically everything I could put into it. So where's it gone to? I can't see it. Oh, there we are. Like this. Oh, in fact, you could just saw it then a second. You can see that the upgrades are put in here. So it's actually charging up as I was hoping it would do. Um, but it's charging up slowly because I've only got one of those. Um, it's charging, it's discharged itself now. Why? 
that's 10 that was 6.9 I'm not using it it was seven a second ago confusing anyway with this thing I still actually don't like it <laughs> I've got to be honest with you <laughs> the reason I don't like it is if you look at a bow for example and you want to hold that the bow you can get everything ready and then when you release the bow you shoot just like that with the the gun as soon as you press the right hand button it starts to shoot and I don't want it to I'd like to get it prepared and then if something comes along you shoot it well as you can see it zooms in a long way so if we go right over here for example you can see a lot so at that point from that point of view is brilliant <laughs> what's that one so you press shift right click and you can see what armor you can put in the different types of armor in here like this and this may or may not recharge depending on if i've got item upgrades in there aha that might have been what was happening while the pressure went down thinking about it because that's 759 and it should if i've got thing oh it tells me on the screen i can see it beside me I haven't covered the redstone module but I've done all the other bits and pieces on my list here. We'll cover the redstone module next time because it's neat. Um, anyway, that's all I've got time for today. So I wish you all the best. Uh, next time we shall be covering, I'll finish off some more upgrades I think because it's only crafting recipes and unless it's something special. So I wish you all the best and see you next time. Thank you.